Okay, so I want to give a little uh, Bible lesson, I think. Um, on some of the Bible stories, uh, there are lots of good little stories. So take a look at this. And um, um, let me give you some background to this first little lesson I want to share. You know, when I was a kid, I enjoyed reading mysteries like Sherlock Holmes and Agatha Christie and those kind of the Hardy Boys. Um, and so naturally... Uh, a nice little mystery to think about for me was who committed the first murder in the Bible and uh, I think most people uh, most people would say Cain did because he he murdered Abel and we know the story but for me I don't know if that's that is the earliest murder in the Bible I think someone else might have been murdered before then so let me explain a little story that happened in John. Um, we, we come across this little verse. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And... Uh, this was the time when Jesus was talking with the, the Pharisees. And, uh, let me just give you a little few verses before this. It says, I know ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. And they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto him, unto them if ye were Abraham's children ye would do the works of Abraham and that had a lot to do with faith of course but anyhow it says but ye seek to kill me a man that hath told you the truth which I have heard of God this did not Abraham ye do the deeds of your father then they said unto him we be not born of fornication we have but one father even God and Jesus said unto them, If ye were, if God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? <clears throat> ye are your, of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. And um, he was basically uh, foretelling that they were going to crucify him and that they were going to murder him here. Uh, but anyhow, here's the thing though. It says he was a murderer from the beginning. The devil, the devil was a murderer from the beginning. So a natural question is who did the devil murder? And my answer is Eve. And you might wonder, well, how did he murder Eve? He lied to her. And you guys know the story, of course. It says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the tr fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said, said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Well, there you have the lie. He said you would not die. And what happened, of course? Well, we read that they were driven from the garden after this, and they were no longer able to partake of the tree of life. And without partaking of the tree of life, they, of course, would die. Well, that's a nice thought, in a sense, because if they were able to eat of the tree of life, they would still be here today. That's really something to think about. Um, Anyhow, we read of the tree of life again in uh, Revelation. And uh, when the new heaven and earth come, we'll, there'll be the tree of life in the midst. And uh, it'll be for the healing of the nations, so on and so forth. But anyhow, it says, uh, Therefore the Lord God sent them, sent them forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man and placed at the east of the garden cherubims, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. So 
So, in in my understanding, Eve was murdered by this lie, and I do believe that that's what Jesus was talking about when he when he was talking to those Pharisees. He said, "Your father is of the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning." And and it's sad to think uh, he he's still doing this today, and. Uh, the truth is, he would like to murder you. Make no mistake about it, he wants to murder every one of us. And the primary way he does that is by lying to you somehow. He he sometimes wants you to have the sense of security and, and to think that you're saved when you're really not saved. Or he wants to lie to you and, and to make you think some other lie. A lot of people, for example, will believe that, oh, well, if I believe on the Son of God, then I shall be saved. Like John said, 3.16, said, uh, For whosoever shall believe that the Son of God, I came into the world. What did he say, 3.16? He said, uh, Whosoever shall believe on the Son of God shall be saved. But that's true in a sense, but people take that as a literal sense. They say, uh, oh, well, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, so I'm going to be saved. Well, the devils also believe that Jesus is the Son of God and they're not going to be saved. So, believing is part of it and it is a requirement. And um, when we believe, that of course allows us to be born again. And, and through that process of being born again, we're transformed. And then we're transformed into the image of the Son, Jesus. And so, that's the way that believing leads to eternal life is that the believing leads to a transformation into Jesus. So anyhow, the point is though, is that G Satan would love to murder us as well. And I I love to think that, that, well, Jesus is aware of this. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but Satan also wanted to murder Peter. And you know, there was that prayer that Jesus said, the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. He, he, he just wanted to, to basically murder people, Peter. And of course, Jesus knew what was going to happen. He said, but I have prayed for thee that, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he says unto the Lord, I am ready to go with thee both to die in prison and so on and so forth. And he said, I tell you, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before thou shalt deny thou that thou knowest me three times. And you can imagine how Peter felt when he did deny Jesus three times. And we read that Jesus looked at him in one of the other gospels and 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 then we read that Peter went out and wept bitterly and it was of course during those moments that Satan was trying to murder Peter and make him have so much guilt and shame for what he had done that he would feel unworthy to even continue and uh, I just love the fact that the Lord prayed for him and um and, and uh, we could probably have the faith that the Lord will pray for us at times when we are unaware that Satan might be lurking about trying to murder us. And uh, I just appreciated that thought. And so, anyhow, um, these have been good thoughts for me. And it's a good little story about murder, I think. And uh, helped me understand things a little bit better about the Lord's plan. And, and uh, I just hope to be careful hope to be diligent in the place of prayer that the Lord can protect me from the, the devil who seeks about as a roaring lion, lion seeking to devour so hope you enjoyed this story